How's it going, everyone? My name is Brenner Bpug, and welcome to Bpug Games. Uh, today, we're going to be running a Nightmare Sigil for the Beast in Ice. I'm going to be showcasing my level 100 Necromancer right here. Now, ignore all the inventory and stash space on it because it's it's kind of clunky right now. But I'm going to show you all my stats right here real quick, and of course, resistances have them capped. But 100 versus this guy should be fairly smooth and easy. But I'm just going to showcase it real quick for you guys. So let's get right to it. So if you don't know where to craft this at or how to do it or where to get it at, you're going to go to, right here, any of these occultists right here, into it, craft sigil ancestral, and the glacier, glacial fissure. So you'll ha you'll need distilled fears and the sigil powder. Sigil powder you'll just get from salvaging um, any of the sigils, which you can just go right here, salvage any of them. Um, and you're also going to need the... Distilled Fear, which you can see you get from Nightmare Dungeons that are tier 30+. plus. Uh, so far, I believe these just drop randomly, but they have to be over, of course, tier 30. So let's get right to it. Let's craft one of these bad boys. Bada bang, bada boom. Right to it. And here we go. And now, instead of just going outside of these, they'll teleport you inside. Here we go. Right, here we are. We're inside. Chasm Glass. Let's get it going. Oh my, my necromancer build that I'm playing is the SSS Infamous from Mobilytics. I kind of tweaked a little bit of things on it, but it's actually really fun, and I have all the uniques that were needed for it. Let's go right through here. Boop, boop. This is actually fairly really easy. Keep on going. And as you can see, everything just disintegrates. <laughs> I'll have a tier 100 nightmare showcase also for you guys too. That is where it gets first gear. Now I am skipping a lot of this just to go to the boss because I don't need the XP of course. But if you guys ever play with me and you need XP, then we'll run and kill through all this. All right, here we go. So this guy is has probably like some of the coolest mechanics out of all the boss fights I've seen so far too. And right off the rip, he uh he was not that easy to fight. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Once you get your stuff, he's good. But even this now you see the damage isn't too crazy, but the survivability with this build is awesome. Down some more. He's gonna do his little phase here. I can really just stand in all this stuff to be honest. And once we finish here, I'll show you guys all my items and what I'm using. He likes to jump low. <laughs> Hopefully, I get that task. It's this piece for the resistances. Let's see. Let's see. Will I get it? Oh, I got gloves. What kind of gloves I get? Frost burns. All right, guys. So I'll show you my gear real quick before we end the video. Just pull this up right here. Now, mind it. Nothing's too perfect and all that. Um, 
Some stuff still does need rerolled a little bit. I believe this is kind of like almost best in slot here, but we've got intelligence, armor, max life, corner reduction, blood mist triggers, corpse explosion. Now my aspects are probably going to look way different than majority of people's, but I did my own little thing with it. Got some armor here. This is a really nice chest piece with the extra armor, damage reduction from close because you're always close to something. The distant enemies, like the wraiths, still really hurt bad. Howl from below. This is so my um, corpse explosion sends skeletons out that blow people up. To Baltswell, amazing for the unstoppable damage right here. Flicker step for the cooldown reduction. Not too good of a roll, but it works. Um, this right here, you kind of want to run a wand. I just really like this because it does the four additional corpses for the Black River here. Lidless wall. This thing is awesome. You get it off Lord's ear. It puts um, multiple bone storms up. It's pretty fun and awesome, and the shield looks cool, too. It took me probably, like, 40-plus runs of him to get this. I don't know why my RNG was horrible. Zoffles. I don't know if it's Zoffles, X-Files, Corroded Signet. You get this off of Durial. Great. Great, phenomenal ring right there. I mean, look how much you're exploding enemies for with your lucky hit. And you get a 50% chance to erupt. The Loop of Ultimate Shadow right here. As you can see, have my Bone Storm. Switched over so it does shadow damage over two seconds. And here's my necklace right here. Got some cooldown reduction, damage reduction from close, shadow damage over time and damage. I'm probably going to roll that shadow damage over time off of it. But uh, so far everything, you know, works good. Resistances are high. And this is not really a boss killer, guys. This is more so a tanky survive build. So you're decrypifying your stuff to nerf it. Slashing for damage reduction with your scythe. Blood misting and popping your bone storm whenever it's up with enemies too, and then spamming corpse explosion waiting on your cooldowns. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. I hopefully you look forward to more Diablo 4 videos. It's been a while since I've uploaded on the channel, but I've got a lot of cool content coming for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.